Today in news, the International Journal of Molecular Sciences just published a study showing how important all the different cannabinoids are, including CBG and CBX and C THCV. I'm not sure what CBX is, but that probably is one. But what they did point out was that they're all very important for human health, as we know humans have an endocannabinoid system. And this is important information because a lot of this stuff is only coming out of European nations as the United States media isn't publishing these kinds of studies. Instead, the Department of Agriculture is issuing cease and desist letters to companies that are actually manufacturing items like THCV. One such is Bay State Extracts. And their guy over there, John Nathan, has actually been having to destroy a lot of his products. What's interesting is his products are actually available in in stores like Massachusetts Coast Cannabis, which doesn't make it very clear whether or not those particular products, which are already in the market and part of metric and part of the process where the regulators have already said that this product is a product that is safe and reasonable to have in the stores, will that be affected by the Department of Agriculture, especially if the reclassification of cannabis goes from class one to class three, it'll change which agencies are in charge of which particular cannabinoids, uh, specifically THC anything, uh, THC nine and eight and 10, uh, have all come under fire, especially in states where cannabis isn't accessible because those are alternatives that have sort of fallen through the loophole of the 2018 hemp bill. The 2023 hemp bill was actually postponed, and that's coming soon. Many people are feeling that part of what's going to happen with that particular hemp bill is they're going to remove any sort of cannabinoid from it, and it'll be very different for products that are used in building or clothing. Also in news, the reports are that the hemp clothing industry is actually going to skyrocket in the next number of years. They said by 2031, it's going to be a $23 billion industry. Currently, there isn't much hemp clothing available except for at boutique shops or hemp specialty shops like the Hempist over in Massachusetts. But there's going to be a lot more competition for those kinds of shops for hemp clothing because of the South Pacific and the Asian markets are really opening up to hemp and the use of hemp and clothing and they're going to be bringing a lot of material here into the states. So it's probably a good time to get into hemp as a material for building or textiles and probably not into making vapor carts out of Delta. It's like my hair has never been so clean. Thank you for watching The Wash Daily.